on May 3, 2019, reports emerged that Immortals LLC had received $30 million in Series B fundraising. But it wasn't the vast sums of cash that got the internet talking, it's how they were planning to use it, as follow-up reports claimed Immortals were a front-runner in the purchase of Optic Gaming, which was said to have gone up for sale two months prior. Problem is, Immortals are already a majority shareholder in various orgs that compete against Optic, including the Made in Brazil CSGO team and LA Valiant in the Overwatch League. For fans and players of both these teams and Optics, the future has suddenly become incredibly uncertain. Although this story is still breaking, it actually goes back to November 2017, when a majority stake of Optic was sold to a company called Texas Esports, who made it a subsidiary of another company. Infinite Esports and Entertainment. With the scene maturing, increasingly massive sums of cash were needed to compete, and Optic used their Texas Esports money to fund entry into the newly franchised League of Legends Championship Series, a fee believed to be in the region of $13 million. The Overwatch League, which forces orgs to enter under a region-specific pseudonym, was even more expensive. But, again, the infinite investment enabled Optic to purchase a franchise slot, and they entered under the name Houston Outlaws. Despite this extra spending power, fans were worried that Optic's existing team would lose autonomy. And, indeed, 2018 proved to be a tough year. Their popular CEO, Hector Hex Rodriguez, took a step back from the day-to-day -day management of the org, and without him, they attempted to expand too rapidly. During the year, they were hit by numerous controversies, including the Call of Duty team threatening to leave and a player from the Optic India CSGO team being caught using cheats live on stage. 12 months later, in October 2018, Infinite were forced to make 19 members of staff redundant and sever ties with President Chris Cheney. Ryan Musselman, Infinite's incoming president, admitted that they tried to grow too big too quickly, and a conscious choice was made to scale back the company's ambitions. But the cost of esports was still on the rise. Texas Esports hatched a plan to sell both Optic Gaming and the Houston Outlaws for $150 million between them, and the news was leaked by ESPN. Two months later, on May 3, 2019, we learned that Immortals were the front runner in the bidding. Ever since, Optic's future has been shrouded in uncertainty. Desperate not to lose control of an org that he built from the ground up over the last decade, Hex made a bid of his own, alongside former Infinite president Chris Cheney, but there have been no reports that these bids have been successful. Instead, he's allegedly met with executives from both Immortals and Infinite to discuss the role he may end up taking should the Immortals deal go through. Since the story broke, Hex has essentially become the face of the good guys to both fans and players alike. Skump, who's represented Optics since 2011, made his allegiances very clear during a winner's interview at the CWL Pro League. Uh, I'm feeling great. We just got a great win over UIU. Still throwing controls, which isn't great. Uh, I feel great to get the win, but now we're just hoping for Hector get a, to get a win on the other front for us. Another Optic COD Pro, Karma, admitted on Reddit that the most likely scenario is an unhappy ending. He theorized that Immortals would keep the team on the books until franchising came in, at which point the cost would be too high and they'd be dropped. Optic CSGO team may well have similar fears, as Immortals are already represented in the scene by Made in Brazil. So too will the Houston Outlaws roster, with Immortals represented in the Overwatch League by LA Valiant. In theory, the League of Legends team might be safer, as Immortals were unable to claim an LCS spot first time around, and may well opt to rebrand Optic's existing squad in the takeover. But even this could go either way, Immortals could just as easily bring in a new squad. Among all this uncertainty and speculation, Hex has pledged to carry on fighting for the good of his org until the battle is completely lost. It's unclear what exactly he means by this. Is he going to continue bidding for Optic himself, or merely secure a key role in the org after the Immortals takeover has finally happened? Whatever he's saying, there's only one thing for certain. No one really knows what's happening next. And whether you're a fan, a player, or even an owner within the Green Wall, that is a very, very worrying position to be in.